everyone and thanks for spending your time with me. Today I want to talk Hyundai Kona Electric against Kia e-Niro. What is better? <laughs> well, of course, it's always there's a lot of opinion in there and you all know my opinion. I love the Kona, but let's talk about it. We all know uh, it's the same motor, the same 150 kilo. Well, a motor that can produce 150 kilowatt with the big battery. We know that the battery is the same size-wise, but I heard that the the e Nero has different cells. I don't know if that's true. We see that. Um, of course, uh, I think uh, performance is almost the same. Almost no difference. Same as consumption or range. Pretty much the same charging speed it's all the same so what it comes down to is space uh, and the Kia e Nero has more boot space and has more space for the people in the back and that's great for for families or people who have a lot of passengers always in their car myself I'm rarely driving with a lot of people it's usually me my wife well, naming myself first. My wife and my wife, our dog and me. Our dog is seven kilo, tiny little dog. So even uh, the back seats don't have to be big. The smaller the better for me. And the trunk in the Kona is enough for me as well. So uh, the E Nero is just too big for me. It's space that I don't need <clears throat> when it comes to parking, driving backwards, fitting in in your garage. Uh, that's just problems where uh, I don't need it. The smaller the better. I would like, yeah, even the Kona is a, a tiny bit too big for me, but you get you don't get a, a very small car with that much range, so that's what it is now. Um, but again, I know that a lot of people need more space, have two or three kids, or have four grown-ups in the car, then of course you need the, 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 the Enero is way better. I understand that totally. Um, what uh, what also uh, different with the e Nero is that I think there's a second or even a third 12 volt outlet or USB in the back, or even a, a, a Shuko, so so normal normal plug, depending on the country, uh, and it has air vents in the back, and this is something that I would like because then you can heat up a cool whatever you want uh, the back seats very fast otherwise it comes from the front and it takes a while I would like that but the, the Kona doesn't have that and the e Nero has it that's great um, something I don't like at all about the e Nero is the instrument cluster it, it, I don't know it, it looks wrong placed and, and one circle is cut and then this is it looks very cheap and, and weird. Uh, I don't like it at all. The Kona, I know it from the Ionic and, and I like it a lot. It's not perfect, but I like it. The same with the middle here. This big dial for, for, for reverse drive neutral park. Uh, it's just it's too much for, for, for changing uh, uh, the, the, the gear setting you don't change that that much so it's not like you're driving a manual so I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the middle part as well so let's talk looks and of course that's of course oh my god opinion everybody has a different opinion about that I don't think that the Kona is a very beautiful car I don't like the plastic dark gray uh, uh, things over the tires of the wheels it's I, I don't like that uh, on the Kona I would, the car would look way better uh, if it would be all uh, uh, the color that you decided not this this gray plastic thing um, but the e Nero is just ugly I don't know the front the back looks amazingly boring family like the side as well and and the uh, and the front is just not good looking but again the corner is not doesn't look amazing as well 
uh, so it's not a Tesla look where Tesla in, in real life looks really amazing and so of course everybody has a different taste but for me the Inero is just luck but again it's not about how it looks like it's about what it can do but again everything summed up I prefer the Kona what's really weird is I heard Bjorn Nilan talk about the Inero on his video in Norway that uh, that it will be uh, quite a bit more expensive in Norway than the Kona but in Germany it's a tiny bit cheaper but they announced the prices it's, it's not on their website yet but uh, but uh, uh, I read a few articles where they said and and, and the, the base price is a few hundred euros lower and the, the the highest spec that you can have is also a bit cheaper than the Kona which is weird it's a bigger car but and and everybody was expecting 10% more or something and in Norway it, it, it's 15 or 20 percent that there was a lot of people are canceling their reservations um, but of course I will try to get one to drive I will ask a Kia dealer it should be it should be arriving in in Germany or in Europe around February so I guess if then I can have it in the summer to test because it always takes longer than they say and just want to drive it uh, um, I heard because the car is bigger that uh, uh, and the wheels are further apart front and back so uh, a, a drive drive uh, a drive feel should be even better than the corner so it would be interesting if the drive feel is amazing maybe it could change my opinion because driving an electric car is just very important to me <laughs> so tell me what you think what is better for you uh, aside from the space stuff I know that so let me know in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.